Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are back here in Skyhold and we have a prisoner to judge, the Mayor of Crestwood. He's finally gonna get judgement after what he did or what he did to the citizens of Old Crestwood. Right, let's sit down on our lovely throne and decide what we're gonna do. I'm try I'm gonna try not to be not not to be too harsh because he was put in a bad situation, but let let's see our options. Is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that ten years ago he flooded Old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. He has a chance to prove it, yeah. If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. Acquired for Alden Throne. Wow, nice. So the best so I can do, the best I can do is exile for Alden can lock him up, or I'll give him a clean death. Wow. Yeah, the best I can do is exile. You lied for ten years about your crime, then fled after confessing your guilt. For avoiding justice, you are exiled from Ferelden. I doubt the Crown will disagree. I knew your coming meant the end. One way or another. <laughs> I could have done a lot worse there. Sarah, Sarah and I and Bull didn't approve, but... Yeah. Yes, get out of Ferelden, please. Thank you. Six of 21 thrones found. Nice. Right, so let's get ourselves back to back to Crestwood. Uh, let's go back to Kerbernak. No, that's not Kerbernak. That's Kerbernak. Take our usual triumphant trio. I'm going. I feel sorry for him because he had a horrible decision to make. And to be honest, if he if he didn't do that, then the village probably would have been wiped out. It's one of those horrible choices. That you can't really win um, or make a correct choice or a right choice, but a choice has to be made one way or another. And it, it was bad, but I can understand why he did it. At the, why he did it at the very least. So we'll just move on. We'll move on and pretend that that, that never happened. Uh, oh crap! I need to. F why is it? Why is it so hard to find a way out in here sometimes? This way, I think, is it? No, yes, maybe. Oh, there's a. The, oh, you go to the caves. Is that. Oh, no, that takes you out on the beach, doesn't it? This is bloody awkward. Like, this is seriously bloody awkward. Right, where is the front door? I found it last time I was in here, so why can't I find it now? It should not be hard to find the front door to this place, but for some reason, for me, it is. That's the that's the access to the dam. Right. Which means... Is it this way? Yes, this is the way. Right, okay. Good. I, I always make things marginally more complicated than the uh, than uh, they need to be. All right, let's go and grab this landmark, and then we'll press northeast. Because we have a warden to find, we have we have a butcher to find, and we have a wyverns to kill, among many other recreational tasks, of course. Discovered a hilltop farm. Nice. I mean, we haven't been to this little farmstead here. No, 
hope we actually haven't. Right. I saw what those bandits did to Randall's farm. Enough's enough. Even I, even if I can't stay here, I'm not letting the sodding highwaymen take my home from me. If any of you slugs can read, I set the fire with heaps of dried cow dung. Hope you like sifting through the ashes. Nice. That is a... That is a scorched earth tactic, to say the least. Yeah, anyway. So I'm guessing that the the, the, the the landmark is this little burnt, ruined out fort over here. Right. Wyvern's Watch. A mug and a bottle of wine indicate this sheltered spot may have once been a popular place to enjoy the view. Someone has carved Milton plus Lonnie into the side of the bench. Milton? I didn't know we had a Milton. Who's Milton? Oh, Milton, Milton. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Sorry, he's making Suicide Squad references. Right, let, let's 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 refocus and focus on finding finding Butcher. Because he's probably been missing quite a while now, after we've been dallying and fighting dragons and stuff. Hopefully, he's still alive. But again, I'm not I'm not hoping for much really at this point. I'm guessing none of the quests in this are, like, time-based or anything like that. Bioway doesn't normally do that. Although the one time they did was Mass Effect 2, wasn't it? When you when you went to do the suicide mission. If you didn't do the suicide mission r right after you unlocked it and you did a, and you did a different... Or was it the suicide mission? It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah it... Because you had all the colonists uh, that, got, that got abducted, if you didn't do the suicide mission when you unlocked it and you did a, another side mission instead, uh, the colonists would be dead because you waited, uh, which is actually quite interesting and otherwise a lot of people probably would have been caught out by that. I can't remember if it warned you about it, about it or not, but um, yeah... There's an interesting little uh, little little trick there. Well, well, not really a trick. I mean, it's it's logical that they wouldn't make it if you wait, but still, I imagine like a lot of people are like that, though, aren't they? Um, with certain quests, and they say, "Oh, we need to hurry," but but you're just like, "It's a game. There is no need to worry," but there actually is. I think it was like that in Metal Gear Solid 5 as well. Um, you had to go and save somebody. Uh, and if you didn't do it within three or four days, I think, he would just be dead when you got there. That I'm not surprised about, because that's a very kajim kajim thing to do. Right, you know what? Fuck up. Fuck, fuck, fuck everything there. There we go. Codex unlocked Druffalo. Yeah, 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 Druffalo. That's actually that's, that's a nice name. Where is the Druffalo? Druffalo. Show text. Right. They said the mages were coming to Redcliffe. We had to leave or be caught in the middle of their war. Guy said that it would be safe in Denerim. We left as soon as we could, but the little ones could barely walk a mile. I was about to, I was about to, I was I was about to turn back when Guy saw a herd of wild Druffalo passing through the hills. He said. How different can they be from horses or bronzos? Oh, but those horns. I was afraid and told Guy not to go, but he said we had no choice. Guy said that we would uh, he would catch up to us, that we should continue on. We kissed goodbye, and then, he, and then he left. The children and I kept walking. One day passed, two, then three, and I knew in my heart he was dead. I almost gave up. One morning I was fetching water from the river when I thought how easy it would be. They would just slip away, and I would just follow them. No more pain, no more fear. As I searched for my courage... Uh, I heard a crashing through the undergrowth. Bandits, I thought, or a bear, but instead, it was a giant beast with pelts of blue, grey, and gleaming black horns, and riding its muscle back was my guy. The Druffalo was enormous, but gentle as a doe. The children called her Bluebell. I never told him what I almost came to that day. Oh, God. Right. Oh, we do actually have some more Codex uh, places which I haven't looked at. Crestwood. Crestwood is a small village of no real consequence to the lords and ladies who ride through on their way to Valroy or Denerim. 
The people are glad for visitors, however. Residents tend livestock and grow crops they can, but their chief income comes from trade. I was dining alone at the local inn, which is quaintly perched on top of a dam, when I overheard the barman mention tunnels beneath the village. I was surprised to learn that a vast cave system riddles the land surrounding Crestwood. The locals told me tales of strange noises and eerie lights of entire expeditions swallowed by underground fissures, of screams in the dark that, that come from nowhere and return just as swiftly to nothing. I scoffed, then went for a stroll around the area. The night was clear, and I was wending down a pleasant glade in the hills when I heard a rasping hiss. Dropping my walking staff, I spied an overgrown opening to a small cavern. Were those footsteps padding away into the dark I heard then? Uh, or a startled animal? Uh, that night, I let, the, I, lit, I let the candle in my room burn longer than usual. <laughs> so somebody was pretty frightened by the sounds of it. So many tales, wow. Two marked in battle. Alright, so let's get everything else looted. Right, so where where is Butcher? Can we f can we find him? Oh, oh dear. Bloody papers. This stack of papers is so blood-soaked the pages stick together. Only a few lines are still legible. After knowing who he truly serves, it was an easy thing, easy thing to discover his compatriots. I lifted a list of their spies what, from one before I left. We have little time before the, before the theft is discovered, so I advise we move post-haste. I was followed, but do not fear. I lost my pursuers and lighties. Only our closest friends know my final destination. More oh, shit! What would have happened if Corythius hadn't interfered? You motherfucker. There we go. So he said, all, only our closest friends know my final destination. Is that slightly worrying or that's the right that's the exit from Crestwood um, so the last region stuff must be up here so let's get that uh, camp established up here if we can yeah we need to go and tell uh, the, uh, the scout about butcher's fate as well sadly he died on his mission which is more than uh, more than a lot of people could hope for, I guess. Pathfinder. 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 Discover a campsite and establish at least one Inquisition camp in ten wilderness areas. Nice. Anything in this broken building? Nope. Okay. Right, let's go and get this Australian. We'll, we'll vet. Oh no, we won't. We'll we'll go and tell um, Charter first about Butcher. Otherwise, I'll probably completely forget about that. Uh, yeah, Kerbernak. All right. Bad news, Charter. Well met, Your Worship. I found Butcher dead. I found Butcher's corpse by the south road. Red Templars ambushed me afterwards. Only our highest operatives knew he was coming tonight. I must inform Sister Nightingale we have a trade. Yeah, that's not good news. What's happening in Crestwood? The villagers are glad to have us. We impose no levies and help train their guards. I should be going. Because we are a good Inquisition. Expose the double agent operation available. <laughs> Ooh. Let's, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that now, shall we? Might as well go and set the operation off. Because we're not going to have much side content to do soon, as, as far as I can see. We're going to be fully focused on the main quest and the main sort of story with the fight against Corypheus soon. Because uh, we have a we have a big old party to attend right after we found the, found the Grey Warden, don't we? Which is going to be curious. Um, it's Empress Empress Selene's ball, and apparently her her life is under threat, which is not good for anybody. I want to see Iron Bull attend that party. Just, just this, just this massive canary guy, just, uh, just in like a nice, a nice suit. 
I want to see that. I, re I, I really do. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Um, right, let's summon the War Council. Let's get this operation done. We cannot have traitors in our ranks. Why would you work for Corypheus? Like, what would possess you to work for Corypheus? Right, an unknown traitor is lurking in Leliana's closest circle of spies, and she must set a subtle trap to catch the double agents. The planning will take considerable patience, but the Inquisition must purge this enemy spy from its ranks. She's, she's the only one who can do it as well, so it's perfect. We must move carefully. This traitor is a master of the craft to escape my detection for so long. I trust you, Leliana. Don't put yourself down. It would happen to the best of us. We'll find this traitor, and we will sort him or her out. Right, back to Crestwood. To our newly formed camp. So we'll get the Astrarium. We will get uh, the Wyvern that's hiding in the cave. And then we should have a clean shot to find the Warden. Uh, it, it's, it's Stroud as well that we're looking for. Because, um, and yeah, again, Stroud was the one from Dragon Age 2 who saved Bethany. Uh, so he obviously has a certain level of history with Hawk. Which is understandable why he kind of sent us in this direction. Is there, is there a path this way? No, there isn't. Mm, this is awkward. Can we get there? Because I almost don't want to follow. Well, I almost don't want to go and grab the warden before we've gotten everything else done. Sorry, my, my, my RPG kind of instincts are kicking in here. Oh, we can just go around this slope, but yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go around it. There's a quite a few uh, undiscovered things up here as well. Viridium... Hmm. It's probably muchy. Hey, there we go. Discovered the Glen Morgan Mine. So that's all the regions in Crestwood discovered. Yeah, we just, we just go around this way, can't we? Oh, Red Templars. Oh, yeah, it's a fucking massive amount of uh, Red Leary here, so it's not exactly a surprise that there's some Red Templars. I mean, I'm not, I don't know where they are. I can't see them. Literally, there's no one. Where, where are the red? T where are you seeing these red templars? I clear this landmark, but yeah, where the hell are the red templars? Oh, they're up there. Okay, the guide of Falondin. Falondin sought someone to be his messenger and companion. The wind was swift, but Falondin refused to change. It's the people were loyal, but could not live where Falondin walked. Then the owl came to him and said, "I am not cowed by darkness. Let me serve you, who also has no fear of night." Falondin accepted gladly and took the owl as his servant, who thereafter helped Falondin guide the people through the passage of the Vale. Nice. Okay. Let's kill these Templars. Ain't no, ain't no red templar is gonna be gonna be running a mock on my on my watch. To be honest, the fact that the, the fact that there are red templars here is actually kind of concerning in the sense that Stroud is knocking around in this area, so hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he's he's not been uh, taken out by the templars because that would be pretty brutal. I get this looted. There's a cave there as well. Will it have our last mosaic piece in? Probably not. Is that what is that where the Wyvern is? Yes, that that is where the Wyvern is. Nice. Uh, so Australian. How tough is this one? This does not look tough at all, but I'll probably make it tough. Right, 
Right, yeah, I, sh I should have been able to do this. Yeah, this should be pretty simple. There we go, just like that, all done. Constellation Chaos. Stargazer. Got another, uh. If we can just find it. Um, unlock 15 Astrariums in a single playthrough. Nice. Right, referred to as Chaos in common parlance, the constellation Chaos is thought to be is thought to represent the old god uh, Zazikel. These stars have often depicted as Ill, uh, have often been depicted as ill omens. Thus, in the Towers Age, a movement within the Chantry sought to change the constellation to representation of a dove. It did not gain traction. According to folklore, the priest behind the effort fell from a bridge and died shortly after Divine Joyce II made the decision against her. I maintain that this never actually happened and is nothing more than astrological superstition. And if you say so. Alright, where is this? So the cave is just down there. That's that's fine. Uh, right. Why did I stab the Australian? That was unnecessarily violent. Right. We're going to end uh, this episode here, I think. Where, where's the cave? We'll just kind of position ourselves next to the cave first. Yeah, the cave's right there. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to end this episode here now, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.